So, I'm going to make some potato dumplings. Traditional Sonnenberger potato dumplings. And these are the utensils. This is to grind the potato. This too. To boil. These are the potatoes. Russet potatoes, they're high in starch. High starch potatoes are essential because that's what binds the potatoes together so that they don't fall apart. So my first task is to peel these. And then once I've done that, then I, I take, uh, I need four and a half kilograms of potatoes and uh, I need to peel those. I cook one and a half kilograms. Uh, I boil them until they're soft and then the other three kilograms I, um, I grate them and then I separate out the water, uh, uh, I squeeze the water out of the mash and then I let the water sit, the water, uh, the starch in the water settles down to the bottom of the bowl and then I remove the water and then I put the mash in and mix it all up, you'll see. Okay, we're good. On point, maybe you, you need to have a cutting board. Yeah, I'll we'll just put Okay, so now we're going to try, we're going to, uh, now we're going to weigh the potatoes, 1.5 kilograms of the ones that have been boiled. So I need to zero this out. Try. 15.21, that's close enough. Okay, 15.21, these are the ones that are going to get boiled. Let's get another plate. Okay, we'll use that. Okay, so I just want to make sure that the other adds up to um, three kilograms. Okay, so we've got the right proportions now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these potatoes and mash them. The traditional method a grater. You take the potato so the traditional method is fun. Let's bring that up here. We have over here the blend tech. Star of the famous uh, YouTube series, Will It Blend? How do you do this? I just put them in? Yeah, you never used them here. No, no thing. You used it before. I just put the whole thing in? Well, I'll, I'll put in a couple. Yeah. Nice. Now what? Pulse? Is it on? I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we finished mashing up the, uh, the raw potatoes and now I'm waiting for this to boil so there's going to be a little bit of a break. Well, you won't notice a break because you won't see it, but I'll just edit it out. Okay, we're done. That's focus now. There we go. So now, the water still hasn't boiled yet. So I'm going to go through the next step, which is um, taking the, uh, the mash that I just uh, blended and I put it in here to uh, filter out the water. The water is going to go into here and I have a, another bowl somewhere yeah. and uh, I'll put the dried up mash in there. So I'm going to do this one spoonful at a time. We'll see how this works. Now, I've seen some people using presses, but we'll see if uh, I can do this with uh, just this simple 
bag. It's, uh, I don't know what kind of bag it is, but you see the water's leaking out already. Oh! oh. <sighs> okay, well, we gotta go to plan B. But, just a moment, the water is starting to boil. So this is the alternative. We get a uh, cloth. This is the way I always used to do it anyway, so it doesn't matter. The sack was just a neat idea. Whoops. Just put in a little bit, a couple scoops. Two scoops of this is uh, one cup, 250 mils. And then we take this and we squeeze it. You gotta get ah! you gotta get it as dry as possible. And you have to make sure that there's no leaks. I think maybe a better approach is to, to rotate it. That way it's self-locking. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you have an apron. Done. We've got the potatoes dried out. Very dry. Can you see? And we've got the water, which is settling out. The starch is settling out. So I'm going to stop this and we're going to clean up. So the potatoes are boiled. starch and with luck there's starch on the bottom here which there seems to be we put this back in here and we mash this together and we add these potatoes I'm sort of ready to try it. Although I think I might need to put some water in it. I don't know. I think it's okay. The size of each dumpling going to be one of these. Yeah, I guess I could do that. That'd be sort of big. You want a smaller one or is this too well, small? This is supposed to make 18. Okay, so let's try this out. Pretty sticky. That's a good size. What do you think? Good ball. Do you want to spoon them in? No. Mm -hmm. Sometimes dropping them, they they bounce. Oh, okay. Right. I'll put them into the. Uh, I'll put them in the spoon, and you drop them in. Yeah. It's a bigger one. 
I thought it was out of boil, wasn't it? Yeah, but I turned it down. So this is just a low simmer right now, eh? Mm -hmm. So I think that's fine. So let's set the timer for 15 minutes. Do I press it again or just leave it? What? Do I 